Welcome and thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Bridget Rooks and I'm recording live from the Creative Vibes Studios. Thinking back to um, one of my favorite movies and it has a great quote and you know there's so many out there now but from Forrest Gump and he said, life is like a box of chocolates. I would use my country accent, but then y'all talk about me, so I'm not going to do that. But life is like a box of chocolates. You just never know what you're going to get. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Life, it's the the very last step of our seven-step formula to building and branding your business and living life on purpose. Here we go. Thank you so much for joining me again today. I am excited to kind of wrap up you know, it's really the end and the beginning, <laughs> but we have been following the steps for the seven step formula to building and branding your business and living life on purpose. And we have made it all the way to step number seven and it's, it's life, you know, just like Forrest Gump said, and that story is such a great, great story. Um, life is like a box of chocolates and you just never know what you're going to get. It, it's so true. And some of those chocolates in that box you really, really love. And some of those chocolates you really don't like. <laughs> and then there's some in there that are like a mixture of things and you got to pick out what you don't like or you might be allergic to or you can't stand the dark, dark chocolate or you don't like white chocolate. There's so many different things, but it's all in one box. And you don't really know what you like until you try it. So I give kudos to all of you for stepping out of your comfort zone by starting with the seven step formula. Number one, epiphany, you had that idea. And that idea might have been, you know what, hey, I'm gonna try this dark, dark chocolate <laughs> and see if I like it. It might not taste so good and people might think I'm crazy because you go into the insanity portion, which is the second step. But sometimes you just have to really get out there and try some things and do some things different, even though it makes you look crazy. It makes you feel uncomfortable. It's, it's all about change and growing and evolving into what God wants you to be and what your purpose on this earth is. I think that it's most important that you just identify with that and, and accept it and go forward to change the things that you really need to work on and improve on and then also just give back to to everyone your strengths and your and and share the with the world your creativity and share your abilities with everyone and that's why you're excited about starting your business because you have something to give back and when you start giving back and and sharing your you know, your business and your techniques and your knowledge with everyone else, you really do have a chance to breathe because you kind of find out you're not out there all by yourself. There's some more people that are going through the same thing or trying to sell or produce the same products that you are. So guess what? You can partner with those people and grow together and learn from one another and continue to live on purpose because you're growing and moving forward and not remaining stagnant and staying where you are. Fear will keep you without a plan. And that's why when you get to the to the synced part of the seven step formula to building and branding your business and living life on purpose, that's when you really have to get your plan in place. Because you have your idea, you feel a little weird, you've taken a chance to slow down and breathe, exhale. Now you have your plan in place. You can start thinking forward. You can start thinking about the future. And when you see that vision start coming, you know, to life right before your eyes, you can believe in it. A lot of times, I don't know if you work with people or have people in your life that can only see black and white. They, they don't have the ability to imagine something just because you said it. So if you're trying to explain, like, for example, you know, I work in retail and I can walk up to a particular pad on the sales floor and envision what I need to do to make it look better and pleasing and easy to shop for customers. Some some of my coworkers at the time would always have to have a plan, which would be the blueprint or the the directive from the from the corporate office to in order to see the plan. So they can't just look <laughs> and, and say, oh you know, yeah, if I move this here and I move that there, boom, I got it. I can see what I need to do. That's something that's a strength of mine. I'm, it's very easy for me to identify 
what piece of the puzzle needs to move in order to generate an opening or in order to start the next phase of a project just in general. So when you get to this part where you have to believe, sometimes it does take an outline. It does take all six of these steps in order to get to the very last one, which is like Forrest Gump said, life. Life is like a box of chocolates. So you have to jump into that box and try them all out and then eliminate the things that you know you really just don't like whether that's something you're trying to balance in your life whether that's people whether that's a, a, a business partnership whether that's something a habit that you've been doing forever and ever that you need to change there's a lot of different components to living a simple life and making your dreams come true and living life on purpose. It really takes dedication. It takes sacrifice. It takes humility. And most important, it takes love. You have to love yourself enough to know that this is meant for me. This happiness is meant for me. I deserve this. In order to get out there, not only can you just sow your seed and put it in the ground and walk away. No, you have to take care of it. You have to nurture it. You have to respond to its needs. That's just like your business. And you won't be able to reap the harvest until you've put in the work. I like to say that, um, you know, in relationships to I have, um, you know, poured my heart out in and, and you really have to be in a dedicated relationship where both members are putting in the, the work and sacrificing to get the outcome that you want, which is a happy relationship, whether that's with your parent, a sibling, your children, your, your loved one, your husband, your wife, your boyfriend, girlfriend, whoever that is, you have to put in the work to get the results. And when we make it all the way to this last seventh step of the formula, life begins. But like I said at the beginning, this is really the beginning and the end because it just starts all over again. Once you go through one elevation, you've learned a whole process, you've achieved some goals, you've had some accomplishments and some failures, and you've able to been able to really just jump out there, bounce back, dust yourself off, and keep moving, you're living life because life is about ups and downs. It's like being on a roller coaster. If you get off the ride, you're just going to be standing still. But if you're on that roller coaster and you're holding on and you can throw your hands up, it's it's all about the ups and downs. And and the lesson is in the down part a lot of the time because when you're feeling like you're struggling, you don't know which way to go. You don't know anything else to do. That's when you have to pray. That's where your faith comes in. That's where you have to understand that I believe in myself and I love myself enough to keep moving forward even though I'm tired, even though my heart is broken, even though I'm broke, even though I had to downsize and move into a place that I don't want to live or I I've gotten, you know, separated from my, my spouse or whatever is happening. You lost your job. There's so many different things that bring you into that, that, that low point, but it's during that time when you have to really you know, for lack of better words, put on your big girl panties. Well, fellas, y'all don't want to do that, but you know what I'm saying. Be strong, <laughs> stay dedicated, stay focused, and live your life on purpose. You have to really just do it. There's no other other way. But let me tell you too, there is cause for a break. Sometimes you do have to take a break. Let me just tell you, this year I started really going hard for The Simple Life and putting together my platform, which has led me to this point. But for the first like five months, I was on it, on it, on it. Things happened in my life. I said, you know what? In order to give this 100%, I've got to take a break. I need to regroup. This was when I was going through the exhale, you know, portion of the seven steps formula. And I had to really take some time to slow down, catch my breath, so that I can do things the correct way. And that caused me to figure out my plan, start regrouping, and going over how can I get back on track. And that's, that's where I am today. Because once you recognize what you have to do, you believe in it, you set your plan in motion, and life 
life happens and that's just how you just continue to grow so I'm so thankful for this opportunity to share some of my personal stories with you guys and and help you grow in the process as I have so sometimes putting things into a more relatable sense helps other people and that's what my goal is I just want to help you be encouraged inspired and and never give up there's gonna be times when you're gonna feel like it and you might have to take a break like I did a couple months get it together and snap it back up and get back together and get on track and that's what you have to do so I'm here for you guys thank you so much for listening we're gonna make life simple one day at a time and life is just that easy. All right, guys, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye. Before you go, please subscribe to this podcast. I'd love to share some great tips and tools with you along the way and help you through this journey. Visit my website. It's www.ohsosimplelife.com. Just making life simple, guys. That's all we can do. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon.